Hi everyone, Kim Snyder here with Sync to CRM. And today I want to share a video of one of my most useful Infusionsoft Ninja hacks. Actually, it's really an Excel Ninja hack that just comes in so handy when you're working with Infusionsoft contact records. So the use case is this, you have data from somewhere other than Infusionsoft that you want to add to existing Infusionsoft contact records. Now to do that, you are going to use Infusionsoft's data cleanup, modify existing records. Now the problem or the challenge is, as you can see right here, the records in your file need to contain IDs that correspond to records in Infusionsoft. If we don't find a matching ID, we'll skip that record. In other words, in order to use this functionality to update existing records, each of the records that you're uh, updating, you have to know what's the contact ID. And of course, the data that you got from the third party, like this, doesn't know the Infusionsoft contact ID. So I'm going to show you a quick hack um, how you can easily append that data, that contact ID, to this third party data so that you can then import it and modify existing records. So how do you do that? Well, you're going to use two handy Excel functions that just solve this problem in a GIF. Here are the steps. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to export your existing contacts from Infusionsoft, and you want to be sure to include the contact ID and the email address. In fact, when I do it, that's all I export because that's all I care about. We're going to match on email and append the contact ID. Everything else is extraneous. So you would end up with, if you did it that way, a CSV file that looked something like this. So this is my sample uh, test data from my Sandbox account, and you can see ID and email, okay? Step number two is to open this CSV file in either Excel, Numbers, or Google Spreadsheets. Now, I've already done this, as you can see, in Google Spreadsheets. And then what you want to do is you want to copy and paste this third-party data into, sorry, the uh, Infusionsoft export into the spreadsheet you've got with the third-party data. Now, you don't have to do this for me. You can work with them on two separate tabs, but for me, it's just easier because when we are modifying, um, I can kind of see what's happening when they're side by side. If there's a lot of data, you may want to leave them separate. Um, but for me, I, I, I prefer to do it this way. For the example, that's the way I'm going to do it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a column to the third party data for contact ID. So this is our third party data right here. So I'm just going to right click and say, insert one left. I'm gonna call it um, uh, Infusionsoft ID. All right, now the next step is in the first row of this empty contact ID column that you just created, you're going to add this formula. Now, the way I have this formula set up these are just uh, placeholder values. You'll need to configure it for the rows and columns in your spreadsheet. That's why it's giving us this error. So XX refers to the column in your Infusionsoft export that contains contact ID. So in this case, that's gonna be column F. So I'm gonna change this to FF. Z2 refers to the cell in that row of your third-party data that contains the email address that you're gonna match on. So in this case, we want to find the contact ID for Mickey. So his email address that we're matching on is this one right here. So we're gonna say D2 right there. And then finally, when it goes out to find Mickey at kimsnyder.com in the, the uh, Infusionsoft data, it needs to know what row, or sorry, what column contains the email addresses that it's searching. And in that case, that's going to be G. So I change it to GG and I hit enter and you can see it has searched column G, found Mickey at KimSnyder.com and put the contact ID for Mickey in that cell. So now once I've confirmed that that all works correctly, all I have to do now 
is fill down and it will go um, fill in your data. Now, this is also useful. I purposely put gossip in here who you see is not in this list. So it'll just return this error, um, which is which is also useful because a lot of times you have a list where you don't know whether they are in your database or not. So what you do is you run this first. And then what I do, this is sort of a bonus tip. I sort by Infusionsoft ID, and then I just cut this into two files. All of the contacts that are NA, I just do a regular import because they don't exist right now. And then I take all of the contacts that do have a contact ID, split them in their own file and do an update contact on those. So as my dad would say, this formula is handy as a pocket on a shirt. I use it all the time. Once you know it, you'll find yourself using it over and over again for all sorts of things. So I hope you found this helpful. If so, you can do me a huge favor, depending on where you're watching this video, either off of my blog or Facebook, if you would be so kind as to share it, um, because sharing is the engagement that Facebook assigns the most value to, that would help me reach more people with my Facebook posts. And for that, I would be very, very grateful. You can see all of our blog posts have a share link just off to the left. This one hasn't gotten any love at all. So come on, help a girl out. Or if you're watching this on our Facebook page, of course, you can just hit the share button right here. Thanks, y'all. Now go knock them dead.